Sailing Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the effect of a planet's mass on its orbit. So generally speaking, uh, when you have an orbit, the mass of the planet is not a huge factor on either orbital period or orbital speed. And I will explain briefly why. Um, the star is generally so much larger and it has so much more of a gravitational influence than the planet has that it generally dictates most of the effects of the orbits. Now, the one thing, it really does, if, if a planet were to lose mass, there will be some changes to the orbit, and I'll explain exactly how this works. Um, if you have an elliptical orbit, which planets do, and we'll talk about Kepler's laws for the most part, Kepler's law being the first one, planets orbit in ellipses, and here you have two focal points. The sun is at one of them and the other one is foci 2. Now, the semi-major axis is pretty much the distance. This distance. And we call that A. Generally, we can look at this at the center as the barycenter. And we, when we talk about a lot of bodies, we look at something called the barycenter. In the barycenter, it means where is all the mass center at. So if you were to look at, um, let's say, if you were to look at a circle, like a disk of mass, the barycenter would be right at the middle, right? Uh, but if you were to look at a, some sort of combination of masses, you might be able to say, oh, the barycenter is even outside of the body. So the barycenter is sort of like a geometrical point where is the center of all the mass, theoretically speaking. So uh, to figure out what the barycenter is, which is the point at which the planet actually orbits, uh, the mass of the planet does come into play. So the barycenter, this distance we'll call it r, is the distance between the objects and then mass 2, mass 1 plus mass 2. Mass 2 here being the mass of the sun and mass 1 being the mass of the earth. Now, the mass of the sun is, um, is over 109, uh, if you, you can fit the Earth 109 times on the diameter of the sun. So the mass of the sun is far larger than the mass of the Earth, which means that this contribution is really not going to matter. When you add that to the mass of the sun, it becomes almost negligible, but that can actually affect very little. Now, if we look at the orbital period, uh, we have the period square, 4 pi divided by the gravitational constant, and then this, uh, this distance, we can call it A as the semi-major axis, we can also call it R, uh, cubed divided by the mass 1 plus the mass 2. So if we look at the full form of this, you can tell that the distance in which they orbit is what really leads the orbital period. But this mass 1 does come into play, but because it's so small compared to the mass of the Sun, it actually doesn't affect the orbit as much. So generally speaking, the mass uh, of a planet has very, very little effect on the actual orbit. My name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the effect of a planet's mass on its orbit.